What the hell just happened? Did I just lose him? Oh, he's still going. Look at him. Oh, look at him go. You gotta catch him, bro. Come here. Woo! That guy was going crazy. What's up, everybody? Bad Marmon here, and thank you for joining me in The Infected. In the last episode, we got a lot of really good stuff done. We got this amazing new garage that we're just loving, making things really easy when we go uh, to the mines or go do things outside of our camp. And we got a lot of new amenities, too. We've got, we've got a steel spear. We've got an iron axe. We've got an iron pickaxe. Let's go, baby. We're doing great. So that is a lot of the stuff that we really needed uh, to, you know, go out and do some more exploring. And today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go do some more villages and some more raiding because uh, we need some more tech. We need all the good things that we can get at the villages. Uh, first, though, I do need to do some chores around the house. I need to get some harvesting done. Boom. All right. There you go. That's what we like to see. Make some veggie mix. We make two of those. And then we turn them into canned vegetables. A little veggie salad. Oh, yeah. Got to stay healthy. Got to eat your veggie salad, people. Woo! Look at all these. Ain't going starving anytime soon with all these cans. All right. Everything is looking pretty good on that. I think we are ready to go ahead and uh, do some more villages. So, without further ado, let's head to it. Let's look at our map. Where are we going to head? We've done this one and this one. We've done these two right here. And we've done these ones right here. So we've got kind of like this part right here done. We could go this way. There's a single village here. And I think you're guaranteed... Uh, excuse me. There's a one village with a single house in it. And I think you're guaranteed a tech in that house. And then there's one right here we could go to. So we could try to hit up those two at the same time since they are rather small. I think that's a good plan. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's open our door. Should be able to back right out. To be honest, guys, I am shocked that we haven't seen any roaming groups around our camp. Especially on the road near our camp. Yet. Maybe he changed that? But I felt, I liked, I liked that. It made it feel more dangerous to leave your camp and go adventuring. Okay, we've got an abandoned vehicle up ahead. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Hole and screws. Screws are really nice to have. Save you that copper. That it costs to make them. Let's pull, our, pull out our deadly steel spear. These guys don't want another smoke. I don't like how they're walking right next to each other. We're going to have to fight these two guys two at once, looks like. No, we can get just him. Good. Nope, we got both of them. That was good technique. That was great technique there. I think that was some of the best fighting we've done yet. You just gotta block a lot with that one guy. The guy who throws stuff. The vampire guy. I don't know why. We call him the butler. The butler you definitely gotta watch out for. Alright, we should have tech in here. Yeah, here you go. So this is a good one to come to if you don't want to do a lot. Waterhouse Blueprint. We will take that. We will take that. It is one of many that we do need. But yeah, as I was saying, this is a good village to come to if you just want to uh, quickly get a piece of tech without having to go through a lot of buildings. You're still going to have to fight, you know, two to three enemies. We will quickly vacate the premise, make sure there is no garbage bins or anything else that we can collect on the outside. Nope, does not appear that there is. So that was easy peasy. We'll go ahead and head to the next village. Nice. So that worked out just according to plan. Did not get any iron, but we got our tech. That was the main goal. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Quick work. Next, we will make a right, and then we'll pretty much run right across the village that we're heading to next. Huh. I thought this was a village, but I'm mistaken. There's definitely one right there, though. Let's go ahead and do that one. We've got the time for it. That village should be just around the bend up here. There it is. The next village. There it is. Probably got some monsters in here that wanted to die. You must want to die, monster. Dang, we got two butlers. Two butlers. That's 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 rough. How y'all gonna do me like that? And they're like standing right next to each other too. They're probably gonna run at us both at the same time. We're gonna skedaddle in the back door over here so they don't see us. Man, look at Fred and George out here, bro. These two dummies. Everybody told them they shouldn't smoke that stuff, but they smoked that stuff. And now look at them. Now look at you. Used to do math, didn't need paper or pencil. Now look at you. Mm-mm-mm. What a shame. What's up, Fred? Remember me? Yeah, you used to pick on me in high school. Now you smoke that stuff. Now look at you. Now look at you. Getting messed up. Getting messed up. Come on, George, too. George used to give me swirlies. Come on, George. I'll show you the stuff. Business now. Come on, I'll show you business now. Hit me again. Hit me again. Hit me again. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're dead. You did, and you gave me your aluminum. That was actually my aluminum originally. He stole it from me back in the seventh grade. Man, it's a pretty big village. Some iron? Let's go. Big old warehouse over there. Might find our guy Mikey. Really just want some good tech, though. Especially anything we're doing with power. We need power technology. Gotta get this thing up and running, baby. Up and running. Oh, yeah, let's put some of that beautiful potato paste just all over our skin. Smelling fresh and brand new. Definitely need the Kevlar. Don't need the wire. And leave the wire. Take the Kevlar. No tech in this house. That is unfortunate. Oh, I'm overheating. Huh, summer is here, I guess. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to have to, like, take off my armor, possibly. Oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Might have to throw away this armor. No! Alright, here's the plan. Let's take it off real quick, if we can. We're gonna throw it right here. Okay, hopefully that stops the overheating. Man, we put all that potato paste on our skin. Okay, that did stop the overheating. That's good. That's good. Okay, now what to do with this stuff? Might have to leave it there until we're ready to leave. And then we can put it on and just uh, take a health pack on our way back to the house. That might have to be the play. Okay, let's get this guy. Easy peasy. Okay, let's get some tech out of this house. Yes, let's go. Oil extractor. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not at all what I asked for. And that house was absolutely bupkis. What's up? What's up, Mr. Butler? Serving me up some biscuits? Yeah, come on. Growl in my ear like that, bro. Don't growl in my ear, okay? Okay, doing well. Getting some good stuff. We're almost full up on inventory space, and we have two more houses to do. So we will see how that goes. Trying to be super selective, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. But yeah, we've got these three structures. I guess it's one house and two garages. 
Definitely need all the Kevlar. Oh my goodness. God, that scared the crap out of me, dude. Oh, that scared me so bad for some reason. Oh my goodness. Where did he come from? Oh, sounded like the Joker, bro. Scared the crap out of me. Hey, okay, hopefully there's another tech upstairs. Nope. Probably not. Could be upstairs, and it is. Hey, hey, look at that. Stove. Oh, my goodness. Well. All right. Village is done. Inventory is full. And our armor despawned. Of course it did. Of course it did. Armor despawned. Well... That is Bupkis. Wow, I just wasted 15 Kevlar and 10 cloth. 14 Kevlar and 10 cloth. Uh, let's go this way, because this way I can double check. I can add some oil to the mine. Won't be able to take anything out of the uh, boxes, probably, but... Yeah, I'm not sure that I like that. Uh, I don't know why you would start dying from overheating while you've got, you know, a full body of water. Um, full stomach of water. I would say, like, maybe they should change that overheating thing to you only start dying once your water is, like, 50% low. Like, if your water's at 50 or lower and you're overheating, then maybe that's when they should start make you dying. But I don't think you should be dying from overheating while your water is still completely full. That doesn't make sense to me. That's not how overheating works. Look at the beautiful waterfall, though. Looks like a cool place to build. Somewhere off in the distance over there. Okay, we have made it to the mines. We will check on this real quick. Just make sure that it's all fueled up. Probably don't have much storage to take anything back with us, but uh, we'll double check. Okay, lots of aluminum. That's nice. Yeah, we can't fit any of it, though. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can take all this, then. Before I do that, though, I'm going to do some mining. Might as well. Got to get that iron. Where are you at, dude? All right, one more, that's good. Let's finish on a high note. We got two, four, six, seven right there, so not bad. And we will take all of this as well. Thank you very much. And it doesn't matter that we're over encumbered because we can just hop on our ATV and ride all the way back home. That was a good little journey there. We got two villages done and a run to our mine. Beautiful. Love to see it. That is a good day's work right there. Pretty much used up the whole day, too. I think we left our house around 8 a.m., and it's 8 p.m. now. That's how you gotta do it when you're surviving, okay? When it's rugged survival, there's no, there's no time for naps. No time for any of this crap. You gotta get it done from sun up to sun down. This is why you always carry extra fuel on you, people. There you go. Boom. Back on the road. Middle of a thunderstorm is not the type of place you want to get stuck out in the cold and the weather. In the middle of the night. No, no, no. That is not what I want to do. Beautiful home. Nice to be back. Nice to be back. Plants should be nicely watered right now. Pulling to our garage. Look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy. Love to see it. Man, I love that sound, too. The sound is dope, man. And now that we are back from our raids, I want to go ahead and do some stuff with all the iron that we have. Look at all this beautiful iron. We're going to smelt some. 
and then I'm going to turn this iron into a butchering table because we really need one of those. Uh, we want to be able to have a bow and arrow. The only way is to get hides. So we have to we have to start butchering some animals. Let's go in here. It should be under food, butcher table. We're going to put it right over here like we had planned earlier. This is going to be our little kitchen area. And so this would be nice. We can uh, butcher the animals and we'll have a box in here for the food. We will go over here to the smelter, whatever. I always call it the smelter. It's a forge, isn't it? But yeah, let's go to the brick forge. Throw all this beautiful iron in there. Crank that sucker up. Good to go there. Let's go ahead and build that. Beautiful. Love to see it. Well, that's not really straight, though, is it? Let's put that in a better spot I can never which remember which way is front but we'll see because if you get it wrong it'll like flip you on the other side of the table when you go to butcher an animal man let's see if we can catch a few animals um something slow moving but pretty much anything we can catch like a deer i feel like they're everywhere like in the beginning of the at the beginning of this season, I remember there were just animals, goats and stuff, just crawling around my base. It's always once you have the butchering table, you can never find them. What do we have up here? A couple of deer. Nice. Nice. Let's see if we can get one of these guys. Deer are hard to get. You kind of want them to run back towards you. Well, this is definitely why you want a bow and arrow. Let's see if we can head him off. Oh, we ran out of stamina. All right, he's coming right back towards us. This is our chance. We got him once. Nice. First kill. Let's go. Well, it's really not. I mean, we've killed wolves and other things. But, uh, yeah, first one that we'll be able to butcher. So, we need to get, I think, at least another animal. Maybe we'll try to go get that other deer. Because you need a few hides in order to make the bow. And all the good things that we need. It's not the bow that we can't make, actually. It's the quiver that we need these hides for. Let's get our nice axe out. Yep, we did put it backwards. So, you can see the table, like, flips you around. So, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's see. The edge of the blade needs to be facing backwards. But there it is, the first animal hide. Let's go get another one. Here is that other deer. Let's see if we can't get, get them. What if we sneak up on it? Can you sneak up on the animals? Hopefully it just comes running back towards this way. That's the easiest way to get these deer. does look like you can sneak. Usually they'd be running when you're this far away. How close can we get? That's the question. Oh, that close. We got him. He's running back towards the road. Beautiful. One hit usually is good. Sometimes you have to chase him down. We did get him, though, I think. Hmm. Okay, maybe one hit is not good. It's coming right towards us. There you go. We got him again. He should go down now. Man, what kind of deer is this? Stabbed him twice with a spear. He should be dead. He will not go down. There he goes. Jesus. Took three straight hits to get this deer. Yeah, I'd say the positioning of this table is wrong. Like, if this is the front, usually you would want to be working on the gut on the other side so you can pull all the intestines out. But, I don't know. It's one way to do it, I guess. Alright. Now, let's see. 
Let's make sure I'm not incorrect on that quiver. No, two animal hides and two ropes. Beautiful. We are finally going to have a bow and arrow and all the things that we need. How do you make... What was the next weapon? I don't think I've ever made this. Crossbow, firewood, rope, and a steel ingot. Hmm. What do the bolts cost? Fragments, feathers, and sticks for the for the bolts on the crossbow. Yeah, I think we're not at the point where we want to use iron for that. Let's stick with the uh, bow and arrow for right now, and uh, we can make this later. Let's see it. We got the bow and arrow, and we have the beautiful bone arrows to go with our bow and arrow. So we are looking good. We are Gucci. Now we are ready to go fight an alligator, which I think is going to be our next thing for today is going and getting an expanded inventory by going and killing a few alligators. Let's see how we do that exactly here in the Itemtopia. Let's make sure we get the large backpack. We need four croc skins to come back with and two ropes. That's fine. We have the ropes. In order to get the croc skins, we will have to use 10 of these. It's unfortunate, it kind of dwindles our iron chest considerably after building two of these. Um, but it's exactly what you have to do because you have to go over there and build one of these to harvest the croc skins while you're there. You can't, it's not really efficient to drive back and forth with the croc skins, especially since we are quite far away. This is the swamp over here with the crocodiles. So we are just going to place one down right there, use our tin. Uh, I'm not sure if you when you delete it, if you get some of those back. We'll see uh, on the iron ingots. But uh, I say we go ahead and head out. Let's load our ATV right here. We're also going to go ahead and make some cooling t-shirt before we go because I feel like the heat is going to start getting to us. It is 90 degrees outside. So this is only four cloth for the cooling shirt. Minus 10 heat. Let's go ahead and make that. Let's see, should we do the other one, the pants as well? Hmm, the pants are... Wow, you get minus 10 heat with 4 cloth, and then minus 4 heat with 6 cloth for the cargo pants. It's kind of ridiculous. Plant fiber in 3 cloth. This is going to increase my sun resistance as well. This is minus 5 heat for 8 plant fiber. Minus 3 heat. I think I'll just make a cap. All right, I did see they added these into the game on the new update, so we will go ahead and put those down. That's gonna make this look a little bit better. So that uses four logs. I think we're gonna do a few chores around the house uh, until it's nighttime, and we will just sleep until the morning and then go ahead and go fight the gator in the morning. Yeah, I like that. I like the stairs. The ramps for the, the railings for the stairs. That looks much better, I think. Gives it just a little bit more definition is what I wanted on that. And yeah, I think that's perfect. With a few more stakes, we'll be good to go right there. So, this will be another chore we'll do while we're waiting is we need to craft... These things, so stick in an iron ingot for the upgrade tool. And stick, stones, and a rope. So let's get that. Stick in an iron ingot and some rope. And the stone hammer. There you go. So now we have repair tool and an upgrade tool. Perfect. We'll grab these and put this out. Yeah, I went ahead and made another batch of ingots, uh, particularly aluminum, because I want to go ahead and make a second flask. So there we go. We will have that as well. Three of those. There's another flask. Beautiful. That's perfect. So now we can not have to worry about throwing away water, and we can easily switch from clean to dirty. It's two pounds, so it is some extra weight to carry around, but that's okay. 
The main reason we wanted to make these tools is I want the upgrade tool because we do need to upgrade our spikes here to the iron spike trap, and that takes 20 iron fragments each. So that is a lot. Yeah, we only have one. Uh, we only have enough for one right now. So we are certainly going to want more iron fragments before our light levels or anything else gets too high. All right, there you go, though. We at least have one now with iron tips. So we are going to want at least all three of these done, including the ones on the side over here, probably, would be important to have. I'm not sure how easily they might. Hopefully the zombies do not attack these railings the same way they do not attack those railings too much. So we will have to see on that. Well, it is still early morning darkness here, 5 a.m., but we are going to go ahead and set out because we've brought some oil with us, and we are going to head to the mine real quick. It is on the way to the swamp, so we will cut through Marmot Pass over here, head to the mine, then head up the road and go kill some gators. But yeah, we'll do a little bit of mining until it's morning so that, uh, you know, we don't want to fight gators in the middle of the night. All right, we spent a few minutes in the cave. And let's see, we're going to load up here. We did get a few iron here. We got four iron, so that's not too bad. We will take that. All right, but day has broken outside of the cave. So it is time to leave and go on our mission. We're going to go ahead and grab this beautiful sweet corn right here. Let's go. Love corn. We're also going to try to hit, I think there's a couple villages around here. So we might go ahead and hit both of those while we're over here. Uh, you know, mine as well. We do have a, a lot of inventory, but we're going to go ahead and put down the butchering table near the swamp. And, yeah, then we'll be good to go. We'll have enough room. Let's see. It is August now, so these raids have actually taken us most mostly through the summer. Um, we will see. I think you get one more month of summer, and then we'll be into fall. So, man, time is just flying by in this game, and I am having so much fun. So, hopefully you guys stick around for the series. Oh, this isn't the swamp. The swamp is up here, isn't it? This is a lake. I think we can drive through this lake, though, to get there. Yeah, this is the swamp. I'm dumb. <laughs> but yeah, actually, while we're here, though, I'm going to go ahead and hit up this village right here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think there's a village over here. Yep. All right. Let's do a village before we go do the crocodile. Because I want to get some power tech going, man. Really got to have the power tech. And we now have our handy bow and arrow. Bow and arrow is good for this guy. He's ranged, so we should be ranged as well. There you go. Nice. First bow kill. First zomboid bow kill. Okay, let's be quick and efficient. See what we got in here. Ooh, love to see that. Small packs. We will eat the fish. And we have to remember, we pretty much have no room in our uh, ATV's inventory. So that isn't very good. We'll have to uh, be very careful with what we take. Really just looking for tech, man. Tech would be great. There we go. There's some right there. Let's see. Wind turbines. Love it. Love it. That's great. We will take it. If this town gives us power as well. Woo! That would be gorgeous. That would be gorgeous. We would have all the power things. Alright. Let's check out this house. See what we got. Iron. Nice. Don't really need feathers. We don't need this clay. All this plastic is great. So much plastic. That's what you want right there. Plastic is just so hard to make because it's made out of, like, oil. I think you have to have oil and bark chips. Hey, there was no tech in this house. Let's see what we got in the trash. Eggs are beautiful. I always keep the eggs. Oh, what's up, guy? You stuck right there? What you doing? And you're dead. Two watermelons back to back. We will eat those. Wow, I just noticed that our energy went up when we were fully satiated. Huh, I did not know that. 
So you gain energy if you eat a whole bunch. I don't know if that's how that works. Okay, no tech in this house. All right, we only found the one tech in this village. Okay. We're going to get out of here and go to the actual swamp. Which, let's see, we can just cut over this way, go straight across the lake, which is what we're going to do. Look at that beautiful view right there, the waterfall. Nice. Whoa. What? This lake is actually deep, and you can still drive across it? That's crazy. I did not know there were bodies of water that were that deep in this game. Man, that is a pretty spot, though. Right here would be a nice place to build as well. Okay, let's see if this one's deep. Oh, it's a little bit deep. That's crazy. Underwater. I, in underwater ATV. This ATV's got a snorkel on it, baby. Let's go. That's awesome. All right, we are close to the actual swamp now. That's a bear. Don't really want to fight a bear. I'll leave you alone if you leave me alone, Mr. Bear. Okay, we'll go between these rocks over here, and I think this will be a perfect spot to find some gators. Okay, I think we'll just go ahead and build this right here. Okay, there we go. There's our butcher table built. Let's go swamp marmot. Now, let's pull out this. See if we can't find us some gator. I see one, I think. Maybe? Thought I saw something moving. Have to admit, I do not like uh, the hunting the gators. It's not a fun thing. Okay, that was a bird that I saw. It was not a gator. Did see something moving, though. There's one right there, okay. There's another one right there. There's one right there. Just want to make sure we're not getting flanked. Oh, man, it's about to start raining, though. Yeah, walk right back to our table, please. There you go. First one down. Okay, there's one over there. Let's see if we can't kite this guy back towards us. Got him. Okay, second one down. Whoa! He just went flying over here. What the hell just happened? Did I just lose him? Oh, he's still going. Look at him. Oh, look at him go. You gotta catch him, bro. Come here. Oh, that guy was going crazy. Oh, no, we're not putting him back down. Dude, he was, like, on a death spin right there. Man, that is some crazy muscle twitching. Post-mortem muscle twitching right there. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Shoo! He was spinning on his tail. Come back here, man. It's time for you to get slaughtered. All right, the storm has passed, and we've spotted another gator. Hit him right in his taters. Come here, gator tater. See if we can get him a little bit closer to the butcher table this time. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? We lost sight of him. There you go. Right in front of the table. Okay, luckily he's not spinning around like a crazy, crazy animal. 
Oh man, we're missing a bunch of arrows. I think we lost some on that guy that went spinning. All right, one more, one more, baby. Where you at? There he is, last victim. Come here, big boy. Okay. That's one way to do rigor mortis. Nice. Beautiful. We got four. Let's double check. That is how many we need. Four croc skins. And we got four croc skins. Let's throw away the bones. Keep the meat now for the last guy. Oh, you know what we did want to check? Because we're not using this ever again. Is let's see what happens when we delete this. Do we get any iron back? Don't get a thing back. Oh, I did. I got half of them back. Beautiful. That's awesome. And I say we just go ahead and delete this land claim. Don't want it causing any trouble or spawning any enemies. Okay. Let's skedaddle. We are entirely overburdened, so we cannot do another village. We will go straight home. And I think we may as well take the road. I want to check this section of road. I'm not sure if... I've been here before. There might be a village. And uh, if there is, then we'll know. We'll be able to scout it. All right. That was a wonderfully accomplished mission. We're going to have a huge new backpack. And plenty more room to, throughout this series to do all the cool things we're trying to do. So that would just be great. Good to go. Good to go. Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't appear to be anything at all along this road that we've chosen to take, but, you know, definitely had to scout it out, check it out. It does look like there might be a small village here. There's a dead end ahead, so we'll check that out. Okay, it's right here in the middle. What is this? Man, we do not have the ability to fight anybody. Okay. We did some rearranging, so we're not encumbered anymore. And there's like a single house up here at this crossroads. Oh, okay, I see there's more down there. This might be small enough that I might just raid it for tech. Oh, can't not take the iron and nails though. Okay, significantly reduced our weight. We are gonna go ahead and take down this little village that we found, which has... <laughs> Three iron in it already. Yeah, it looks like there's only three structures in this village. Ah, uh, didn't see me, did you? <laughs> Snuck right up on you. Come here, buddy. Come here. Thank you for your compliance. All right. There's got to be a piece of tech in this building, right? Here it is. Our blueprint. Finally. Yes. Let's freaking go, man. That is what we want to see. Hell yeah, man. I am so excited about that power blueprint. Let us get out of this village and back home. Where we now have all the tools just to be really stocked up and ready to go to upgrade our base. Alright. What a successful journey. What an awesome successful journey. Man, the hunting those uh, alligators is the scariest, scariest I've, most scared I've been in this game since I started this season. I think uh, it's always pretty tense, man. Pretty tense, those, those gators. At least until you get the first one or two. Then you're like, oh, yeah, these guys are easy. As long as you have the bone arrows, uh, you're good to go. But, yeah, that was fun. We got the power blueprints, so we will start setting stuff up. Now it's just going to be a question of gathering as many resources as we possibly can. Is it just me, or does anybody else just love driving down the road and occasionally, you know, just throwing one of these in there? You know, a little 180, a little pop. 
Little pop pop. Look at that one. Ooh, shee, boy. Look at those jumps. Shee. Love it. Fun stuff. All right, back to camp. Looking beautiful. Let's pull in nicely. There we go. All set to go. I like having the lights on in here. Beautiful. Whoops. All right. Let's go. Let's go over here and make a few things. Now that we have the resources to do so. First and foremost, let's make this. And throw that on. Beautiful. It does add some heat, but look. Now we've got a light all the time. So much better. So much better. Been wanting that one for a while. And next up, I think what you I think you know what is next. We're gonna make this backpack. Four croc skin, two rope. Craft on the loom. Oh. Well, good thing we do have loom tech. And it's something that we need to build anyway. So let's go ahead and get that started. Two logs. Good to go. Boom. There we go. Loom. Crafted. All right. Now can we have this, please? I think it was just two. Large backpack. There it is. Hell yeah. Let's see it. Oh, boy. That is incredible. How much easier the game will be now. Love it. Love to see it beautiful progress well it is now the next day and i have a lot of stuff that i want to build i want to build this stone grinder so that we can get some more iron going and we need to build this too we really need a grinder so that we can sharpen our weapons so they don't uh, get dull and stop working on us and for all these things we're going to need so many materials and so many minerals that I think our light level is finally going to go through the roof and we are going to have some hordes. So that is definitely going to put our beautiful base to the test. But I'm going to save all that for the next episode. I think our time is up for today. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode and the <laughs> spinning alligator, which was really awesome, uh, please be sure to leave a like and a subscribe. That would be really awesome and I would really appreciate it. But until night, next time, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.